Hello everybody, Bruce here with a short video that's going to help you out with some of the assignments in Module 6. So I have some code here on line 1. It's actually a list and that list contains uh, numbers. They happen to be fictitious grades. And then if I wanted to find out the highest grade in that list, I could use the Python max function where I pass in the list that I want to determine the maximum, the highest grade, and that's going to print out the value. In fact, let me just comment out this code, and let me run this program, and you can see here that 99, right, is the largest number in that particular list. And if I go in here and add 100, and then I proceed to run the code again, you can see that it tells me that 100 is the maximum value in that list. So now if I comment this out and I uncomment out the min, right, let's see, 10, 50, so the smallest one is 10. So if I run this, it's going to tell me that 10 is the smallest number in that list, right? Uh, and then for index, this is interesting, this is going to tell me in what position right, starting at zero, a particular number is in. So let's go with 100 here, and let's uncomment this line. And if I run this, it tells me that it's in the position 8. Okay, so check this out. I'm on line 1. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so that's kind of cool because, again, well, I'll tell you in a minute, but just know that there's this method, right, this index function method, right, that will tell you from a list in what position a particular value appears, right? So check this out. You can use this with strings too, but I'm not going to show you that right now. So let's go to my second example. And I have a list of months, right? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December, right? And pretend I have, well, I don't pretend, I have a list here that has the rainfall amounts in inches, right, uh, in, in another list, and it's called rainfall, right? So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, and each of these corresponds to the month above, right? This is January, 11 is February, 5.7 is December, right? So how could I, right, use, right, that max and index method, or min for that matter, to tell me which specific month, right, not only give me the position, right, zero would be January, 11, February, right, but be able to use that in a piece of code, right? So let's say I wanted to print out the month with the greatest rainfall. So I'm going to just do print here. I'm going to use an F string because I like F strings. The most rain fell during the month, month of and if you remember from F strings, you put whatever expression or variable you want in there. So now I'm going to say, check this out, months, excuse me, rainfall, right, rainfall. And then I'm going to say uh, dot index, right, dot, actually, excuse me, I'm just being stupid, max. So let's just do this, right? So, um, max, rainfall, max, and I gotta put that in there, right? So this is actually not gonna, this is gonna tell me the rain that actually fell. The rain that fell uh, the most, right, was, right? So let's run this for a second, ready? So it says 12, right, 12 which is the number 12, right? That's the maximum amount of rainfall, right? That fell, right, during any of these months that we recorded rainfall, right? So I'm just going to leave that right there, okay? Uh, actually, I'll leave it like that. And I'll just put print f string. The month 
that had the most rainfall was, now this, we need a month here. So let's use this as a starting point right here. We have this max thing right here, right? This max. So check that out. That's going to give us the, p the position here, right? 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 Uh, actually, brain fart, all right? That's going to give us the number, right, of the rainfall. But could we then say, hey, months, what index position, right, does that fall in here? So if I put this here, I know it's kind of weird. I'll break it down in a second. Hold on. And it says, uh, actually, I have an error. It says the month, uh, and I got an error of value. 12 is not in the list, right? So what this is telling me, right, is, is wrong. I did it wrong, right? And I heard you, some of you say that there, right? So this is not working for me, right? So what I need to be able to do, right, and you all see how I got an error down here? It says 12 is not in the list because what I was trying to do here is trying to, to use this value here, right? So what I need to do is I need to find where in the rainfall, right, that occurs, not months. So watch this, rainfall, right? So watch this. Rainfall is the list that contains all the numbers. What max rainfall is doing me is telling me, hey, which number is the greatest number? But then I'm telling my code here to tell me what position that is in within the rainfall list. So check it out. Oh, great. Did I spell rainfall wrong? I did. Again. Okay. So here we go. So now it says it's in position two, right? Zero, one, two. But how do I print out now January, February, March? How do I print out that? So what I would do here is, believe it or not, just put months, months, and then the square brackets around that whole thing. And then if I run it, ready? It's going to tell me that the most amount of rainfall was in March. So this is a pretty, um, um, well, it's new to you, but it's a pretty uh, neat way, okay, uh, of being able to have a list of, say, numeric values paired up with a series of months, and how would you get to know that, like, if I, let's do the min. So which month had the min rainfall here? It looks like this 0.5, so January, February, March, April, May, June, July, right? So that's going to be six. So if I change max here, where are you? Right, uh, right here. If I change max to min, just like that, and here, I'll blow it out so you can see the whole expression here because it's, it's pretty nested, okay? And if I run it, it tells me that it was July. And is that what we said? I believe uh, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Yeah, so that's correct. So these are, again, these are called paired lists or paired arrays where positionally everything matches up, right? 5.7 goes to December, uh, January goes to 10, etc. And I showed you how to use max. I showed you how to use min. And then I showed you this way here to nest a whole bunch of function calls to literally find out when the min rainfall was, get its position using index, and then finding that value in the months list. All right. You may have to like watch this part again because it's, uh, it's pretty funky, uh, but it's a really good uh, thing to know in all uh, programming, not just Python. So if you watch this video and you send me the uh, code words uh, power adapter, I'll uh, note some extra credit. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.